I am literally a kid at Christmas this morning. I am so, so excited to come downstairs. You know that feeling when you know what's waiting for you? It's like, you know, the presents are there. I know what has been done. I mean, I saw it yesterday, but you guys get to see it today. I get to do the big reveal. And to say I'm excited is such an understatement. So let's go down. Are you ready? Because I don't think you're ready. I don't know if I'm ready. Are we ready? <gasps> My new floating shelves. Oh my goodness me, I could not be happier. The most beautiful, solid, wooden floating shelves have officially been installed. They've officially been put up and I could not love them any more. I've been really wanting to fill this space. I know I was saying in my last vlog that it's finally starting to like feel cozy and I do feel like it's these little touches that just make such a big difference in your home. Like there's still areas that feel a little bit empty and still areas that definitely need a little bit of updating and a little bit of changing. Like I definitely want to put curtains up here. We're eventually going to put a log burner in and do like a big fireplace around but those are very much like autumn winter jobs. For now, for spring summer, we just want to make it feel bright and airy and I just want to fill it with the most beautiful things and I've been waiting for these floating shelves for such a long time and I could not be happy. I say such a long time, it's not actually been that long. In the grand scheme of like house renovations, I feel like one of the biggest things I've learned with this house is just how long things take, like the lead time on things is insane but we've got the most beautiful floating shelves which were quite a task to put up, I'm not gonna lie to you because one thing we've realized about being in an old house is that nothing is straight and nothing is even. When we did the measurements for this side versus this side it was actually the funniest thing ever because they are completely different lengths, they're different widths and then even like these bits that jut out are completely different because this is basically just like a beam on that side whereas obviously it's like the proper wall on that side so we had quite a task putting them up and the walls also are not flat so doing floating shelves on a wall that isn't flat was so so difficult but oh my word how beautiful do they look there each so individual and unique one of the kind of requests that I gave is basically as many knots as possible. I am someone that loves just how much like natural elements you can see in your wood. Oh, sorry, the focus is going. I think because it's quite a bare and empty wall at the moment other than the shelves that's struggling to focus on them a little bit. Um, but I, I did give a very specific request, which apparently is not a request people get often, but the most amount of knots you can find, please leave them in. They'll usually file these away as much as they can whenever you do like floating shelves and things like this, but I wanted to see as many knots as possible. This is actually the shelf with the least amount of knots. We've just got a little one in here, a little one there. So normally that's what you'd see for a floating shelf. Whereas ones like this, I just absolutely adore. We can literally see like the veins running through it. You can see the knots that were in the wood. I just love that because you get to see those like natural elements. You get to see like the real wood underneath it. And I'm so obsessed with the color we've gone with the stain. We've gone for I think it's natural oak the stain because we just wanted to have the oaky finish with them and the fact that they are real wood they're solid wood which makes me so happy I'm really worried about like not putting anything too heavy on because they're so heavy in themselves but I've been told that they are sturdy I've been told that they are going to be able to carry a lot so I can't wait to get started but this one is my favorite one because look at that I mean, I can imagine it really upset them to leave that in because most people would hate that, but they would want to file it away. But I love the fact that we've got a big like chip in the wood, this like natural occurring chip. We've got a big um, knot up there. We've got a couple down here as well, which I just absolutely love how they look. If my focus wants to focus, oh my goodness me, camera is struggling. Um, but I love how it looks start up with our gorgeous console table from Still and Bloom. Obviously the woods are a little bit different, but that's something I've really learned when it comes to your home styling you're never going to get your woods the same and I'm okay with that like I feel like they look beautiful styled up together and I like the fact that they have their own personality I like the fact that they have their own colors you can kind of see on this one how much they still have like a few natural kind of knots in but a lot of them have been filed down and filed away but I love seeing the veining I love seeing like the personality in the wood I think that's my favorite thing I know we've still got a lot of wires going on and also I know that the tv I know we've had a couple of comments on the tv frame and how much it juts out um, and all I will say is that it is going to be changing but I feel like a big part of it is also the fact that the surround isn't there. The old owners, which kind of breaks my heart, ripped out the original log fireplace and ripped out the original surround that was there which breaks my heart but 
I'm seeing it as a positive. I'm seeing it as a blank slate that we get to put our own stamp on and it's gonna be beautiful. We're still gonna make it look amazing and beautiful and it's still gonna be completely like sympathetic with the original features of the house. So I feel like once the surround goes up, once a fireplace eventually goes in there, it won't look as kind of jutty outy. Um, but one thing we like about this is you can tilt the TV. So depending on like where you're watching it, you can kind of like tilt it to your kind of angle. I'm debating whether we bother putting around like a, um, a TV frame. I know a lot of people don't like TV but it's something that I feel like is in everyone's living room now. There's no point in hiding them. Like if I walk into a living room and I don't see a TV, my first thought is where is your TV? Rather than the opposite way around where it's like right there and you're like, oh wow, you know, that's a really, you know, big TV that's in the living room. I don't really feel like that. It's just something that doesn't really bother me as much. I know a lot of people have kind of said about the TV jutting out a bit. Um, and we might eventually look at changing the bracket that's on the wall and the TV mount that we've got up for now. I'm not really too worried about replacing it for something that basically does the exact same function at what this already does. So it does jut out a little bit, but I think with the shelves up, once I style them, and especially once we eventually do the fireplace and the surround, I feel like it will just kind of flow a little bit better and you won't notice the TV as much but the shelves are just, they're shelving. They really are shelving and I could not be happier with how they are looking. So we're gonna spend a bit of time this morning. I wanna style them up. I don't wanna do anything too much on them. I still want them to be quite neutral. I would love to bring in a bit of the color scheme, but I don't really know if I have any green vases or like green books or anything like that. Anything that really brings in those like green and brown vibes that we're going in in the living room. I'll see if I can find. I'm gonna have a little sift through my, yes, I do have a vase cupboard. My vase and candle cupboard. See what we've got and then we can do a little bit of styling up. I've just been doing a little bit of titivating with the shelves. I'm not going to call it styling because I feel like they're still very minimal. I know I said I wanted a minimal vibe with them, but this is like the epitome of minimalism for me. I like to have a lot of things on there. And at the moment, it is very, very stripped back. I don't know if you can see. The only green thing that I could find to add to the shelves is my book from Lydia Miller, Evergreen, which I do absolutely love that book. And I do just want to implore Lydia for doing such an amazing job at making it so beautiful. Like I feel like it is so important to me to have beautiful books on my shelf. And I know that is the epitome of what you're not supposed to do judge a book by its cover. However, to me, the cover is very important because it's all about the aesthetic. I know when we went to Allsford, Emily and I were talking about the bookshelf that was like books turned around. And I do feel like that's a great idea to do that when you have maybe some more unesthetic, unesthetic, non-aesthetic books that aren't quite as pretty, I think is a good idea, but I wanted to add in a little bit of color. So we've got a few pops of like brown from the molten brown candle. We've got the green from the book, but it's very predominantly white. So I'm just gonna have to do a bit of homework shopping, aren't I? What a shame, but I think I wanna find some like really gorgeous, maybe like greeny, browny pieces, just to like really embrace those tones in this room. I feel like they just work so, so well with the room. And speaking of green tones, I have a little haul slash homeware unboxing it to do with you guys from what I think is safe to say my new favorite. I'm gonna call them a linen brand, Ultimate Home. And I have some new cushions to show you that I I'm in love with. Now, I've been really, really struggling with this room with regards to like the the depth of tones, I think is the best way to describe it. It just wasn't looking quite right. I felt like every time I was showing you guys, there was something a little bit missing and I felt like it was like a darker color. So I had a little look on Ultimate Home, which the last time I bought from them, it was for the bedroom. I've got two gorgeous cushions from there, which you guys absolutely adored. And she has been so kind to give us a discount code, which she has completely extended because I know a few of you had issues using the discount code when I first spoke about the brand. So I've chatted to the team and they've been able to make sure to extend the discount. They've been able to make sure that it definitely works if you use i believe it's ellie 15 for 15 off but i will leave it all linked down below along to her new in section because oh my goodness me the new in linen i am this close to doing a little order of some like table linens because she has so many beautiful table linens little like spring decor pieces and of course her stunning cushions now when i saw this i just fell in love because not only is it 
two-tone which i really really love so if i didn't want to always have the like dark green i could easily turn it over to this like beautiful brown linen stripe which i absolutely love but this dark green pattern i fell in love with because i really felt like that's what i needed to like bring in the theme that i was going for in this room you would have seen these cushions on my mood board because i did order these a couple of weeks ago and i've been so excited for them to arrive i was really unsure with regards to whether it was going to be too much with three cushions but we have a very big sofa and i feel like it can definitely work it can definitely take that amount of upholstery is that the right word that amount of like fabric and that amount of kind of like softness because i'm someone that i don't know about you when i sit down to watch a film i want to like be encapsulated in cushions i want one under each arm and then i also sometimes like one under my legs where i'm really like laying back and just like getting cozy oh my gosh this is so funny i'm not gonna lie to you i do not know where we were in the conversation about cushions my sister just rang me as i was mid conversation with you i suddenly heard my phone going and you know what should have been a five minute conversation ends up being about half an hour we've just been sat chatting on the phone with each other i literally made myself a coffee we've been chatting away you know when you just go on to different topic after different topic and i've sat back down and gone where was i with regards to talking about the cushions i cannot remember but ultimate home cushions we've got a discount code we've got a beautiful green color i love the fact that it is dual tone did i say that already i can't remember but i'm in love with these cushions so i picked up two of these because i wanted them to go on the sofa and just like really give that like squishiness that coziness and also that depth with regards to the green tones because a lot of the tones i've been going for are a little bit like lighter they're more like sagey green and i just really wanted something that's a bit more i could say this is more of like a moss color which i really really like and they also do the inserts at ultimate home as well so you can buy it as just the cushion cover if you already have your own inserts but she does really like high quality amazing inserts so i am in love up with that and then i also picked up so i've got two of those and i also picked up this one which this is called the lydia and i believe she's actually discontinuing the lydia so if it is still available i will leave it linked down below because i think she's beautiful and i would like to put in a request not to discontinue her because i think she's such a beautiful like summery cushion color like a really lovely light linen and i love the sage green foliage that runs through it it's very much giving the foliage not flowers kind of a vibe even though we do have some flowers in there we've got this looks like eucalyptus -y. we've got some little kind of carnations i believe maybe some daisies i love how this looks i think it's so so beautiful and my plan of action with this one was to actually put this on the ottoman that i've got over there my handmade ottoman from my grandpa because at the moment it's just looking a little bit plain and i wanted to just give it a bit more softness i do love softness in a home i feel like that's what makes it cozy and as you can see i've been having a lot of a play about with regards to the room especially with regards to the spaces that were left completely empty after moving around the chairs and switching them into the kitchen obviously i'd made like little nooks with them already so i've kind of just been switching up the space with regards to where things are positioned and i wanted to add a little bit of softness to that one thing that i love as well that they do at ultimate home is they actually do like matching kind of examples of what cushions would go together which i think is so so handy if you follow her on instagram as well i love her instagram because she shows you beautifully styled like versions of her cushions and i wasn't even planning on putting these two together but just look how well they pair that is so beautiful i love that but i think these are going to go really really well with the cushions i've already got on my sofa and just give that like depth give that warmth that coziness i'm so excited to add them on then let me show you kind of how we're styling up this room because we've got the new side tables i've been switching up the coffee table a little bit and i've also popped my little rattan chair over there so let me give you a full talk i am so happy with how the living rooms are coming along and i feel like i'm finally finding that coziness in the house that i was just desperately looking for when we first moved in oh my goodness me i could not be happier with how the Ultimate cushions style up on the sofa. I feel like they just add so much depth to the sofa and they really were just like the missing piece of the puzzle. That dark green, that like mossy color, it's the most beautiful mossy green. Just looks so, so beautiful. And start up with the cushions that I have already, I just absolutely adore. So this one in the middle is a Laura Ashley cushion. I love this one because it's like got a wisteria to it. And it's actually a really beautiful one, I feel like for quite a few different colors schemes because it's got the sage green on the back and then it's actually got quite a silvery kind of base to it so if you've got more of a blue theme i feel like that would work really well as well in your living room and then these ones are from marks and spencers they're a collab with william morris and i love them because they've got a bit of texture to them they've got the william morris pattern but obviously they aren't colored so they work so so well as more of just kind of like a back cushion like just to add a little bit of depth without actually adding any more kind of pattern or texture or color and i'm so in love with how they look i've just turned the lamps on just 
to give you like a full cozy look of the living room and I love how they style up. I feel like it matches the lampshade that I got from John Lewis so, so well as well. Obviously this wall is still looking very plain. It's still looking very bare. It's one that we're gonna have a think about. I mean, I know a lot of you suggested like some older, um, more antique, oil paintings. A, a few of you also suggested getting in touch with like a student artist as well, which might be quite cool to do. I'm debating whether to panel this wall as well. I've kind of fallen down a bit of a paneling rabbit hole. I'm not going to lie to you. And I think that might work really, really well in here just to kind of like give a bit of depth into this room as well. We're also debating whether to move the radiator that's behind here. So as you can see, we've got a radiator cover behind that sofa and we are debating whether to move it because I feel like that, I mean, it's not huge, but obviously that amount of space will make a big difference with regards to how the living room looks and just like the space that we have in the living room so as I said I've done a little bit of like switching around I've actually removed the flowers from the coffee table so all we have to style it up now is Alex's chessboard which I absolutely adore stunning like such high quality and what I quite like about it being here it's really funny I actually originally when I started up put it this side and he came in and went no 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 we need to move it because then this can be like the chess corner so if anyone wants to play chess you can sit in these spaces and play together which I just thought was so funny so we've got the chessboard i've got the most beautiful helen cooper rediffuser which i always get so many compliments on the smell of this and even just like the visual of this i feel like not all rediffusers are this beautiful whereas everyone always compliments me on this one i love the scent as well i've added one of my favorite amazon home lamps which i always think are just so handy to have they add a little bit of ambiance and because they're rechargeable they can be moved about and then a little coaster if ever you're going to use the coffee table and of course my favorite coffee table books the white company books i absolutely love these this is the first one that they did um the for the love of white and then the after one is this is the first one that they did for the love of white and then the second one the art of living with white which i actually think the second one is my favorite because they do it seasonally and you know me i love styling my home up seasonally i just feel like it adds so much more like invitation into your home just being able to like reflect nature around you i think it's being in the country as well because you get so much inspiration from nature outside you want to bring it into your home as well so over here i've just added the little h&m home throw into the basket which is always really handy because you can just take it out as and when you want and then i've added my rattan chair which i'm not loving how that looks it's definitely going to change because i feel like it's quite an empty space especially with how much like head height there is for the shelves i'd love to get another chair here but i want to make sure it's right and it's quite a narrow space because we've got like the wi-fi routers and stuff which i know that looks a little bit of a monstrosity but it can't go in a cupboard we need to have that like out and um accessible because otherwise it just does not reach around this old house so a lot of wires down there a lot of like cables that i want to hide um so i think a nice plush chair would be lovely but it does need to be quite thin and narrow so that will be something that we can maybe look into it later down the line but i'm loving how the shelves that look styled up so i've just added the most beautiful molten brown candle just to add in those brown tones and really bring in like the vibes i really love the brown like darker colors that are coming into this living room because it's a very cozy space i mean it's a space that we predominantly use in the evening so i've got molten brown recharged black pepper candle and then i've got the most beautiful white company vase up there a couple of books just to style up so i'm happy with how this side is looking and then this side i think i'm going to do a little bit more too because we need something on this top shelf up here um I would definitely want to do a bit of interior shopping, but I'm loving how it looks with my bespoke flowers, which you can shop these actually um, from Florist Unique Decor, which she did these for me to fill this space, but said to me, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to be selling them as like, a feature on the Etsy shop and I was like I do not mind at all they are such beautiful flowers that I think everyone needs them in their home so I will leave these linked down below and then my favorite little lamp from Dunelm home so I'm just loving how the living room is coming together and how it's looking I just feel like it looks so cozy it looks so inviting and especially with the new additions the new cushions I am obsessed oh also my new side tables which I absolutely adore so I've just put two of them in here which is really handy to have as a nest um nest of tables because you can just pull them out whenever you need so i've got the smaller two here and then the big one styled up over there and i love how they look i feel like it has just made such a huge difference those ikea ones were not a vibe and we were putting up with them for far too long so i'm really happy to have finally had those replaced with a beautiful vintage antique find there is nothing better than finding beautiful antique furniture and adding it into your home
home and just giving it a new lease of life so the living room is really coming together and I could not be happier with how cozy and inviting it is looking. I cannot tell you how long I feel like I have been waiting for this and by this I don't mean the shelves. <laughs> I feel like in the grand scheme of things the turnaround for those was actually quite quick. By this I mean that feeling of calm in your home, the feeling of that will change but in time, the feeling of not needing to like rush things and do things now and just being really like content and I feel like I finally hit that in the last week or so. I feel like the little changes that we've been making, obviously I showed you in my last vlog, if you watched the end, the new table in the kitchen, my little slice of Limewood House in my farmhouse kitchen and now in the living room, it is just feeling so cozy and so homely. And as I said, there will be things that change. I wanna panel the walls. I would love to change up the dining space. Like I would love to maybe add some prints and more lighting, but those are things that I'm like really happy to come in time. I'm not in a rush to do those things. And I feel like when we first moved in, I was in such a rush to make it feel like home because you know what I'm like. I really struggle when someone doesn't feel like home yet. And I really struggle with my surroundings and I always want them to feel really like calm and I want them to kind of almost like reflect me as a person. And it has taken a little while to get to that point but I'm so happy that we are finally there. And I know I said it in my last video, but I was actually really worried that I'd like lost my touch and I didn't know how to style this house up and that it would never feel cozy and it never feel homely and that I maybe made a mistake and like made the wrong choice. And actually I just needed to give it a bit of time. So if you're in the process of moving, if you're moving into a new house, this is just a little reminder that things take time and that's okay. And actually quite a few of you did remind me that whenever I was talking about like getting things done and making changes. Sometimes I'll get comments like about the TV being like, oh my God, that looks awful. Like, why are you doing that? I'm like, it will change. It will change in time. It won't always look like that. And that's okay. But 99% of you, you're just there for me. Like you've got my back and you're there to remind me that it takes time to make a home a home. And I feel like I'm finally settled and I'm finally feeling at a point where it is calm, it is cozy and I am content. And as I said, I feel like I've been waiting for this moment for so, so long. Everyone said it was coming and it's finally here. This is our home and I cannot be happier in it. So my plan of action for the evening is basically just to bask in that feeling. Head downstairs, get cozy on the sofa and just enjoy being in the space and like just soaking it up. I can't stop staring at my shelves. I just keep looking at them smiling, thinking how beautiful and perfect they look. So I need to get my makeup off. I just kind of have a couple of empties to show you. Number one, which I'm actually really sad about and I need to repurchase. And this is kind of a reminder because I know I'm going to be editing this back in a couple of days time. And when I edit back, Ellie, this is your reminder to repurchase this. The Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. I think this has probably been my favorite toner I've ever used because I do have quite sensitive skin. I have quite dry skin and it can really react to like harsh products. And I've been using this like morning and evening and I love it. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I really love like a more exfoliating toner. Like I do really love once a week, the Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid. I don't really know what the actual name this is. Paula's Choice Exfoliate potentially? Skin perfecting? Not entirely sure. I do love this. About once a week if you want something like really, I don't want to say harsh on your skin, but that's just like really gonna get into the nitty gritty. Love that. But for like daily use, especially for like a morning tone and morning cleanse and then in the evening, I love this so i need to repurchase that because as you can see it is completely all gone and i'm very very sad that this is empty the other one that i'm really sad about that i definitely need to repurchase is the tatcha dewy skin cream you warned me you warned me when i unbox this back at christmas time i would be hooked and you were right you're always right i mean i never doubt you but i am hooked it's such a beautiful like moisturizing chewy really hydrating very much an evening moisturizer for me but it is so hydrating and I've actually been using a couple of other products since finishing this a few days ago and I just feel like they're not the same. I keep looking at my skin in the mirror in the evening thinking mm, it's not as moisturized as it used to be with the touch. Mm, it's not quite as like glowy and dewy as it was with the touch and I also love the little spatula that you can use to um, get the product out. I think it's really fun because you don't get it like under your nails um, so completely run out of that. I need to repurchase. I can get that on Space NK I believe so going to have to place a little bit of an order but I think I want to do just a bit of a gentle skin exfoliation and 
get into my comfies. I might actually use, I've got two products here, debating which one to use. I can either do the Pixi Glow Mud Mask or I can do the Lizelle Gentle Face Exfoliator. I never do them together. But they're really nice when you just want to do a bit more of like a pamper. I think I might do the exfoliator because I feel like my skin can just use a little bit of a reset. That's kind of how I always see it, this exfoliator. It's almost like a reset on the dead skin cells, a reset on like bringing out your fresh, new, younger skin. But I do love this if I'm wanting like a real like bubble bath, pamper evening. It's a really, really lovely mask. So I think I'm going to get my makeup off give my skin a bit of an exfoliation, a real moisturization, and then head downstairs and enjoy just being in the space. Bask in the glory that is our home. I could not be happy. And I'm honestly just so grateful for all of your advice, all of your tips, all of your tricks. I just feel like I can come to you guys with anything. You're the best when it comes to advice. You're the best when it comes to like, just like giving your two cents on things. Cause it's so lovely being able to think about how maybe multiple people have said this about this like room and like maybe multiple people think that that would look better and like I'll try it out and style it up. And I'm just so, so unbelievably grateful for all of your love, especially with the house move. I feel like we're finally there. I've been waiting for this moment and it has finally arrived. So I'm gonna go and enjoy a lovely evening and I will catch you in the morning. I am not exaggerating when I say that the Bobbi Brown Lip Serum is literally like a drink of water for your lips. If you have dry lips at the moment, you need to try this. I am obsessed. It's not even really got much of a color. Good morning. It is the next day now. Oh my gosh. Do we need to talk about the film that we watched last night? Not just because it was an amazing film, but also because of the soundtrack. We watched a film on Amazon Prime called The Boys in the Boat. And it's about basically a rowing team from the 19... Must have been late 1920s um, because it was, maybe it was 1928 because it was when Germany hosted the Olympics and it was about this rowing team who were basically like from nothing. None of them were experienced rowers. None of them were really like athletes or like professionals or anything like that. And basically rowing kind of almost like saved them. It allowed a lot of them to go to university and they ended up, I mean, this isn't a spoiler because this is history, going all the way to the Olympics. And it was such a good film. One of those like really easy to watch, just like lovely, heartwarming films that just like is quite slow but in like a good way and the soundtrack i immediately within about five minutes of the film searched on spotify for the boys in the boat soundtrack movie playlist already downloaded it and i've been listening to it this morning whilst having my morning coffee and my little breakfast nook in the kitchen and i have just been loving it so would definitely recommend if you're like me and you just love like lovely classical music that's just quite easy to listen to and it's just like lovely and flowing and i love classical music but sometimes if i listen to things like classic fm or like if i find classical music playlists on spotify classical music can sometimes get quite like intense like you know the violins will be there like zoo, 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 and you're like woohoo that's a bit much for this time in the morning i just love easy classical very like soothing music so i'm loving that soundtrack this morning and i might actually play it on the journey today because we are heading out today. I'm actually going to a recommendation that you guys suggest and this is what I love, but being able to like share places in the new forest because I can give you recommendations and you can give me recommendations. This is actually back in Allsford. Why has every vlog for like the last two weeks I've had to keep saying Allsford, which is such a difficult one for me to say. But the second that I spoke about Allsford and I told you that I went to the townhouse and that vlog went live, I had so many people message me telling me that I need to go and visit a garden centre in Allsford. And I feel like this is going to be more than just a garden centre. I wish we like came up with a new term. I feel like it's like the Dalesfordification of garden centres where they've just become so much more than just wandering around and looking at plants. Like they've got their interiors, they've got beautiful cafes. And this garden centre in May, June? maybe even July in summertime has a lavender field out the back and that is Long Barn and so many of you said we needed to go and visit Long Barn and that I would love it and I feel like I I'm a bit of a yo-yo a lot of the time with regards to like the places in the new forest that I like to go to and I do like to venture out further into Hampshire and as I said with Allsford it's a great location if you're like I say if you're like around the Surrey area even if you're like the Berkshire area it's quite an easy one to kind of like come down and visit so I would definitely recommend a lovely day on Allsford go to the townhouse and then 
an afternoon exploring long barn which i'm really really excited about i've heard that they have beautiful interiors there and an amazing garden shop as well so we are heading out to long barn today which i am really really excited about i'm gonna keep my eye out for any kind of like little knickknacks that i could maybe style up with the shelves because i just think a little pop of green needs to go on those shelves i think would be amazing and it's just gonna be a lovely day out so i'm gonna get ready to go and let's go and explore the long barn garden center I think it is safe to say that that was a rather successful trip to Long Barn. Honestly, you guys, with your recommendations, you are incredible. It was such a gorgeous garden scent. They had so many pots outside, and I cannot wait to get the garden to a better point where I can start potting beautiful flowers and just getting it a little bit more aesthetics. At the moment, it's been very what's the word what's the opposite of the cosmetics it's been very like functional it's been very almost utilitarian with the work that we've been doing in there and obviously the home store was gorgeous so i have come home with some goodies i'm not gonna lie to you but i've run straight into the kitchen because i am starving for lunch and i've actually had a new delivery arrive and i think this is probably the coolest pr parcel i have ever received from heinz which the fact that Heinz know I exist is just the most bizarre thing in the world. But this is a new launch from Heinz and I might actually make myself a salad with this, which I don't know if that'll be a bit weird, but I think it might taste quite nice. It says your bacon me crazy, which is just the funniest thing in the world. It's a new launch from Heinz of their new smoky bacon flavored ketchup. Just kind of blowing my mind. But I feel like some chicken, some lettuce, 
this could be really really nice oh maybe even if i had some bacon to like sprinkle on top or even some ham ham and chicken at salad could be really really nice with this but a really cool new launch from heinz the smoky bacon flavor ketchup that just sounds right up my street. I feel like Alex is going to absolutely love this. He's going to be really, really jealous that I got sent this. And I have a feeling I'm not going to see much of it. I have a feeling he's going to steal the majority of what is in here. But what a cool PR parcel to have received. So I'm going to make myself some lunch quickly. And then I will show you what I picked up from Long Barn. <laughs> salad looks a little bit odd because it looks very ketchup-y so it just looks like I have literally splattered my salad with ketchup but from the smell and I've actually just done a little like taste test of this it tastes delicious it's very much just like more of a smoky barbecue kind of bacon rather than more of a tomato ketchup so I feel like they shouldn't have put tomato ketchup they should have just done like smoky bacon ketchup or something like that because I can confirm it tastes amazing I think with a lovely salad like this bit of chicken bit of ham something that takes literally literally two minutes to do and it's such a perfect lunchtime meal I'm not gonna lie I'm starving so I'm going to tuck right into it. I this. hope I don't have any of the sauce around my mouth because I'm not gonna lie to you I wolfed that down. Heinz you've done it again. 10 out of 10 for the smoky bacon tomato ketchup although I wish it wasn't called tomato ketchup and I wish it wasn't so red because it is a little bit jarring seeing that over the top of a salad because obviously you wouldn't normally put ketchup on a salad but it does not taste like ketchup at all. It's so smoky, it's so barbecuey, so bacony. It's with some chicken, some ham, some bacon and it literally took me three minutes to make. I mean I've gone from starving to a very happy bunny within the space of about 10 minutes and i love doing salads like that especially in the summer you know when it's just really hot you don't really want to have like a warm lunch you want something that's going to take you five minutes to do in fact actually if you work in an office that would be a really really easy one just to get yourself ready in the morning take two minutes and you can take it in and it tastes delicious so i am one happy bunny now so i thought i would show you what i picked up at long barn because it is safe to say i had a rather successful shop and the pieces that they had there oh my goodness me i could have done so much more damage i really have to rein myself in so let me put this down now you all know what i'm like if i like it i'll just get it in another color and when i saw these soap dispensers i just fell in love because i am someone please tell me i'm not the only person that does this but i will refill the fancy soap dispenser you know, if you get gifted like a really lovely fancy soap, like an Aesop soap or a white company soap, or like a Suzanne soap, I will reuse them and like put in the more affordable soaps. Because to me, a soap is a soap. As long as it cleans your hand and as much as I love having a bougie soap, I just can't afford to keep buying them, to tell you the complete and honest truth. Like I just don't think it's worth always spending that money. So when I saw these, I got really excited because I thought that is exactly what I need because nobody's gonna know what's inside. It's the epitome of nobody's gonna know. And as long as the soap smells nice, that's all that really matters. And there are a lot of affordable soaps that smell very, very lovely. So I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen. Then I'm undecided about this one. It's either gonna go in the guest bathroom upstairs or it could go in the bathroom downstairs undecided where it should be because basically it's going to go where the guests are because i always feel like i want it to look as lovely as possible whenever people come over and they come to stay at your house and like they're using like obviously the sinks and the soap dispensers and stuff you just want to be you want it to be a bit of an experience so i loved those i think they also came in blue if i remember correctly but i picked up a clear and a green so i just thought it was so cute and here i am slacking off expensive soaps however i did buy one because i do think it is quite a nice treat to yourself and i think i'm going to put this in our ensuite up Upstairs because this is actually the soap that not only did they have at townhouse but i recognize this because emily has the soap in their house and every time i use it i always say to her, i need to get my hands on that soap it is so lovely it smells incredible so i picked up the neroli and bergamot hand and body wash and when i tell you it smells incredible i mean it it's in a really lovely glass bottle as well which you know i'm gonna reuse as soon as I finish this, I'm going to reuse it with something else, but I will probably be really sad when this goes because it's just one of the most incredible smelling hand soaps I have ever, ever smelled. And I really love the like dark brown. In fact, actually, that would work really well in the kitchen because that is like the colour scheme that we're going for, the browns and the reds in the kitchen and the browns and the greens out here. But no, I think I'm going to treat myself and put that in our bathroom upstairs. And then lastly... I almost squealed when I saw this because I feel like this is something I didn't even know I needed. 
Now, when it comes to the shelf styling, I didn't find any little knickknacks that I really liked. There was quite a few cute pieces, but nothing that I was like heart set on until I saw this. And I didn't even know that I needed this. And I wasn't even planning on buying something like this, but this beautiful green. I'm gonna call it an urn because I don't even know if I would call this a vase, but look at this. It is the perfect color scheme for here in the living room. And I'm planning on putting up my faux flowers from that florist unique decor. Now, obviously the flowers do come with their own vase, but when I saw this, I was like, I just feel like that's gonna add such an amazing bit of interest. I love antique style, like old vases, terracotta pots, big urns i just absolutely love that so when i saw this i just thought i needed to count the flowers into here because i just thought that was so so beautiful and obviously with the flowers despite them coming with their own vase you of course can personalize them you can of course make them in your own and add your own vase to it and i've never seen one in this kind of shape as you can see it's more of a boat shape which is going to fit so perfectly on the shelves on my little console table and i feel like it's going to really add something to that space obviously we still need to do more to the shelves that's going to take time and as i was saying last night i'm no longer in a rush like i feel like i can really relax with it i can really enjoy the process and just take my time with styling take my time with buying and just appreciate little changes little updates and just appreciate little movements within the home so let's get styling this up because this is the most beautiful one i think i've ever laid my eyes on i've never seen anything like this and it was so reasonably priced as well it's actually one thing that really surprised me about long barn the pieces were not too expensive like they're not dalesford prices even the garden society sometimes i do find can have quite high price pointed things the price points at long barn were super fair in my opinion so i would definitely recommend a visit it really is just the perfect day out when i tell you that you are not ready for this arrangement i mean it because look at this oh my goodness me the way that this urn just elevates the faux flowers i cannot get over how beautiful this is i mean you can see it a little bit closer here the detailing to it, it looks so vintage it looks so antique i love the like cracking that runs through it and just the way that the um the green veins into the white and even has like a few kind of like deeper tones running throughout and it goes so beautifully with the flowers as well i love how wild and wonderful these flowers are i will leave doing a link down below because she has the most beautiful etsy shop where she sells the most stunning faux flower arrangements she is honestly just so talented i could never create something like this like i'm in awe of her talent and what she's able to create out of faux flowers and it was actually quite an easy swap so i would definitely recommend if you do want to just add your own touch to it and just make it really personal definitely don't be afraid to do that but doina is such a talent when it comes to arrangements and i just like trust her entirely whenever it comes to creating new bouquets and new arrangements to pop around the house and i'm so with how this is looking the way that we've just got these pops of greens like the little pop of green here the cushion over there obviously we've got the cushions here and then i've just also realized i'm not actually showing you how this is looking um which is very simple it's very pared back but as i said i just wanted to put a little cushion on there we very much use this ottoman like it's where alex pop puts his um work bag whenever he's like getting ready in the morning we can sometimes sit on it and like chat to each other and then of course my highland coo which actually I had a few of you saying maybe try the highland coo in the kitchen um over the top of the chairs I've tried it, didn't work. It's too square. I need something a little bit more like rectangular to go there. Um, and this is also one thing that paneling would work really, really well in the kitchen because we already have some paneling out here in the dining space. Um, so yeah, love how that's looking. It's minimal, it's stripped back, but I feel like it just adds a little touch of comfort. And I love how this cushion looks. It's a really great one as well because you can easily just like move it about. It can be a great bolster cushion. It's a great one to put under your arm. It's just such a like unique shape. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm in love with all of the changes and how much it is just completing the space. It is absolutely true when they say that buying, furnishing and decorating a house really is like a journey that you go on. It is such a process and you learn so much about like your style, you learn so much about like yourself and what you love and what you use and I always wanted to try and like live in the space for a little bit before we start doing like big changes. So things like paneling, things like renovations. I know I've been asked a lot about whether we have any renovation plans. We're very lucky because this house is not really in need of big renos. We definitely want to update the bar bathrooms at some point but it's really it's funny how quickly you get used to things when we first moved in I was like oh yeah I really want to get those bathrooms done quickly and already I'm like you know what they're fine there's nothing wrong with the bathrooms we'll do that whenever we get a chance and there's other things that we can focus on in the meantime and things that we can spend our money towards that we would like just see more benefit from so it's so funny how much like it really is a process it really is a journey and 
as I said, I feel like I'm finally enjoying the journey. It took me a little while to like settle in. And it took me a while to appreciate that things aren't always going to be finished and that's okay. And I'm really, really enjoying the process now and I feel like I can just slow down a little bit. I don't feel so rushed. I don't feel so pressured and I can just enjoy furnishing our beautiful house because we know we're going to be here for a long time so we have plenty of time to make the changes and to do the updates and to add little bits here and there so i think i'm going to leave this vlog here because there's been a lot of home updates and i would definitely recommend a visit to long barn so if you got to the end of this video leave me the word green down below in your comment or the green any green emoji your favorite green emoji down below in your comments i would love to know who got to the end of the video i love seeing your comments down below especially when it confuses other people like why are there so many comments of like green emojis why why are people doing that and i feel like we have like a little code you and me whenever we get to the end of these videos so i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the home updates i hope you are enjoying all of the moving vlogs i'm still going to call them moving vlogs because even though we've been here for six weeks i feel like there's no really other description for them maybe i can change it to the reno vlogs when we start doing big changes in the house but for now i hope you've been enjoying the moving vlogs seeing all of the changes that we've already been making to our beautiful new farmhouse and i hope you're enjoying coming on the journey with me so i hope you have a lovely evening and i'll see you in my next video. Bye!